Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well. It is Wednesday and we started the week off this week with the team that you can see in front of you right now which is based around Sogaleo Zygarde. It is a very common kind of build to this team that you've probably seen and played against already so many times in this format. But what I wanted to do with this team was take this initial build and kind of mimic what we did with the Cure and Wide build and really tweak it and put our own twist on things as we got into and finish up with it a week on Friday. Day. and doing that identifying the threats that we struggle with cause that we struggle against and really making changes to it to put our own twist on it is things that you can take away yourself and do in your own teams to kind of help get them tournament ready so you can go in and have a lot of success right we're going to jump into it today as always though before we get into it the team is in the description if you want to check it out have a look over the move sets the ev spreads and things like that it's all down there for you in a roll pace and a poker pace if you want to try it out go ahead let me know what you think of the team because i love hearing from you and see you know and uh, we'll just get into it so let's whack some music on and uh, hop on to the ladder hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent but as always guys if you do enjoy this content make sure you do drop a like on the video make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these battle series when they come out and also our guide series our streams our flinch squad circuit stuff and i have already started work on the ultra series guides for the ultra series when that hits in a couple of weeks time so if you don't want to miss those make sure you do subscribe so you get the notifications when they do come out but we've got our first opponent of the day so we'll hop straight into team now, first opponent is playing a team of Tapu Lele, Ludicolo, Dialga, Kyoga, Stakataka, and Incineroar. So, a really nice build here from my opponent, especially with that Dialga and Kyoga combination that I'm missing so dearly from last week when we played that on the channel. Such a good call. Um, but a really nice build here from my opponent. You can see they've got that really fast offensive mode in the Ludicolo Kyoga there with the fake out support from the Swift Swim ability activated in the rain. And you've got the two Trick Room modes between the Dialga and the Stakataka. You've got the fake out kind of disruption from the Tapu Lele with terrain control there and then intimidate and fake out support from that Incineroar. So what are we going to do? I feel like Sogaleo with the Phytinium Z here is going to be extremely, extremely good. So I'm kind of tempted to lead off with that and Toxicroak, which is another Pokemon that's going to have a really good time here against these this sort of build. You just have to worry a little bit about the Toxicroak because it is it is prone to taking big damage from Tapu Lele. I'm going to bring Tapu Fini for Terrain Control. It gives us another option to switch in if the Kyogre is getting a little bit out of control. And um, I think Zygarde. Hmm. Yeah, Zygarde is our last one for sure because it does really well against Dialga, Stack Attacker, and Cineroar. Um, and it can do a decent job against the, the rest of the team. I mean, it won't be doing so much against the Ludicolo, but hopefully we've got enough with the rest of the stuff in the team to deal with that. So let's click in and go in today. It's interesting, though, that we haven't really been bringing the, the Venusaur. I, I, I haven't even really been considering it as a pick in the team, and that's something that I've noticed just in the last two episodes. I mean, in Monday's episode, we played two ground on teams, and we didn't bring it at all there. Um, so maybe that's a slot we can look at changing initially. That's a slot that I could think, oh, right, well, we're not using that. We're not utilizing it, so maybe that is a slot that we can take advantage of and get a bit more out of. So we're going to lead off with Sogaleo Toxicroak here, as we're going to see the Ludicolo and Kyogre come up. For my opponent, we're going to see this Drizzle ability activate on the Kyogre. First of all, bring the rain, summon it to the field, activate that Swift Swim ability on the Ludicolo. And we have to be very careful because there is potentially a fake out coming out from that slot. Um, and I think what we'll do is just trade fake outs with the Kyogre here. If the Ludicolo decides to fake out a Sogaleo, it possibly does. It might fake out Toxicroak. Um, but I'm just going to protect Sogaleo. It's not normally generally a, a kind of a, a play that you would make here by protecting and faking out. Um, but I don't want I don't want Toxicroak to get faked out, and then I don't want to take a uh, water spout to do the face with Sogaleo. It's never going to end well, is it? So just to, to kind of cover things here, we've got the and also by doing this we can bait in like a big water type attack into the Sogaleo the next turn uh, as we see a fake out into our Toxicroak and uh, just an origin pulse whereas the next turn we can switch in uh, Tapu Fini quite easily um, now one of the things I would think maybe the Ludicolo switches out here for the Dialga um, and it wouldn't surprise me if that did happen I'm gonna just switch in my Tapu Fini here um, yeah Tapu Fini and I'm gonna go for a do I go Poison Jab or Drain Punch um, Poison Jab into the, the Ludicolo I think 
I'm a bit hesitant about doing that because I feel like the Dialga probably comes in there, maybe, and denies us the, the knockout, but we're not likely to see that as you see Ludicolo just staying on the field. If it was going to switch out, it would have switched out before I saw Galeo, so we know we're pretty safe getting the attack into that slot this turn as you see a Scald into the Tabu Fini do a little bit of damage and probably another. Ooh. Kyogre, interestingly, is slower than our Toxicroak, which we should have picked up on from turn one. We do get the knockout onto Ludi with a critical hit there. I'm not sure if that would have made too much difference with an Origin Pulse coming out. Not going to affect Toxicroak with its dry skin ability. Um, and Tapu Fini will be able to take this pretty comfortably there. Hmm. So that means Tapu Fini is actually faster than the Kyogre. We'll be able to get Nature's Madness onto it. Tapu Lele coming in, though, now for my opponent. I'm gonna get that psychic terrain up. Hmm. Now the problem is Toxicroak's in a real awkward position here. Um, I think we'll, uh, what we can do, which I really wanna get both Pokemon off the field now, um, but I'm not gonna be able to get both off the field, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to try and get some damage onto the Kyogre for sure. Um, and I'm going to switch Toxicroak out to Sogaleo. We could have healed Pulse Sogaleo this next turn. But if we can get it in, we can check the Lele before that Kyogre can attack us because it's so slow. There's a side shock. It's going to be into. Yeah, Sogaleo. Okay. Could have been a lot worse. the origin pulse. This will do big damage to our solar layer. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Now, I feel like... <sighs> I really want to heal pulse. Solar layer. One of the things I could potentially do is wide guard, but it's just if the Lele goes for the side shock into the Finny, which it's likely to do. Um, I just feel like the type of Lele might protect. That's my only my only thing, and I'd rather wide guard. Yeah, I'm gonna just wide guard here and hope that the the Lele protects from the Sogaleo. It withdraws, so we're gonna get this heal pulse off into Sogaleo, which is which is super super huge for us, like really big for us. The white guard coming in very useful here. And there's a heal pulse. Tasty, tasty heal pulse, which is excellent. And then we can just launch the Phytinium Z into that Dialga this next turn. Origin pulse coming out again from this Kyogre. I mean, we could probably go for the Phytinium Z into the Kyogre, to be honest, because at this range, we'd probably pick up the knockout. Um, and I'm not really worried about the Dialga KOing anything this next turn. I'm going to go for the All Out Pummeling into the Kyogre now. Because we should surely get it from this range. Let's see. Z move activated. Oh, it's obviously a bulky Kyogre, that's my only problem, but 50% you would imagine a Z-move doing more than 50%. It's not the most defensively bulky thing in the world. I know we haven't got the same type attack bonus, but still, Sogaleo is still pretty powerful. Yeah, okay, that's good. And I think one of the things that I really like about the Phytinium Z on the Sogaleo over the... the, the the um, Sogalium Z or the Stelium Z is that you can have access to that fighting move without dropping any stats, which is quite useful. Um, it's a bit like Overheat, the Fire Inium on, on, on the Overheat. We're going to see the Lele come back in now for my opponent. I think we just adjust our board positions a little bit going going forward. Uh, we'll bring, we don't really need Toxicroak so much now, um, whereas the Misty Terrain with the Zygarde is probably the one thing that we can fall back on if things like fall apart from this point to win us the game. So we'll preserve that misty terrain for later on. Uh, we'll bring in Toxicroc here and Tapalele just protecting. Dialga, what are you going to do? Earth power? 
Ooh, thunder. Huh. Out of rain as well. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. Let's get Tapu Fini back in now. We can get rid of this Tapu Lele. I wonder if the Dialga's not got Earth Power. I feel like it's a staple on on most Dialga sets, though. I feel like you just need the, the Earth Power. Uh, because against stuff like Duskman, Necrozma, Solale, you just can't beat them. It's bound to have, it's bound to have it. Tapu Lele going for the double protect and getting it. Huh. Can only protect so many times though. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's the Icinium Z, I think. Is that the right Z move? I'm pretty sure it is. Makes it more difficult to bring in. Yeah, it makes it way more difficult to bring in the um, Zygarde. This shouldn't take us down though. No, just proc a berry. That's ideal. Okay. Um, and now we can just go Schwagger. We'll take this turn to go into the Tapu Lele and after the Swagger we'll be able to get the Dialga. There's a Moonblast. Last ditch attempt. Okay, into the Sogaleo. Not going to be doing enough though. I wonder what ice move the Dialga's got then. It must be Blizzard. So Blizzard Thunder. It hasn't pulled the Trick Room. So I wonder if it's just all elemental attacks. Hmm, maybe, maybe flamethrower. Thunder. Nah, you're not hitting this time. Swagger though is hitting. And now we can deal with this Dialga pretty easily. Plus two superpower will be enough to take it down. And we can be really cheeky and switch out the type of Finny if we'd like to. But nah, we'll go for another go for another swagger just in case we see a protect here. Just for the overkill. Of it all. Um, but Dialga, is that a shiny Dialga as well? I'm pretty sure it is. It looks nice shiny. Like the, the, the greeny flex. It's the first time I'm looking at like green coloration on a Pokemon. It's shiny and thinking it's not so bad. But good game to my opponent. That's our first one today. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long to hop into the next one. Uh, interesting seeing that Icinium Z on the Dialga though. Uh, a very interesting choice there for my opponent. Um, really good against Zygarde as well. Um, especially if it outspeeds Zygarde, because I think it was pretty pacey from the speed tiering from our Pokemon. Um, ah, what have I done? Switch teams, we don't want to do that. We don't want to go back to this screen. We're back it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. <laughs> We're not going to do it again, I promise. We've had it and one's enough. Um, the, the other thing is as well, um, on the weekend I actually I was playing on my other card, so my, my rating got reset, so we're starting off again. I mean, we're, we're back up to 18, uh, 1580 already, so we shouldn't take us too long to get to the 1600s and then we can push on to the 1700s and hopefully find some some higher rated opponents as we go into these next two weeks but we've got David up next from Spain um, so we'll hop into team preview. David is playing a team of Xerneas Lunala, Incineroar, Amoongus, him on top and Tapu Koko. So an interesting build here with some interesting choices. You've got the Xerneas Lunala there. It's a little bit tricky for us. Like we've already mentioned, the Lunala gives Sogaleo a, lot, a real hard time. But we do have Incineroar and the Sucker Punch on Toxicroc to help with that a little bit. Um, you've got the Amoongus there for the, the rear direction, uh, Rage Powder support. Um, it's a bit tricky to get around as well, um, but Sogaleo doesn't do a too bad job against it. We just need to make sure that we have brought our terrain and we're making use of it. Uh, the Hitman top is an interesting choice, especially because it does do a lot of work against Iron Cinerol in particular. But aside from that, it's not really doing too much. And um, I do think I want Zygarde this game, definitely. Just for the type of call call, the Incineroar does well against the Amoongus, even the Hitmon top. Uh, we have to watch out for Wide Guard, obviously. That's something that we need to be a little bit aware of. Um, I think what we'll do is lead off with Incineroar, Sogaleo, um, and yeah, Zygarde, and Tapu Fini here. Is that going to be alright? Do we need Toxicroak? Hmm, Toxicroak's handy for the Lunala for sure, but aside from that, it's not really doing too much. I mean, it's got the Poison Jab for the Xerneas. Nah, we'll leave it out. 
Okay, let's get into our next one. It's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. And what we'll do probably is play this team all of this week. And then any changes that we do decide to make will go into next week. Like I was saying a little bit earlier on, the Venusaur is something that we're not really considering too much um, or bringing at all, even in the Groudon uh, matchup. So that's definitely a slot up for grabs. So if you've got any suggestions for what could go over that slot, we'd like to see there maybe, let me know in the comment section. And we'll definitely consider that going forward. We're gonna see this, the Lunala and the Hitmontop come up for my opponent. <sighs> I feel like this isn't a bad time to just pull a double switch, to be honest, and get, get Tapu Fini in and Zygarde. I'm going to go for Zygarde on the Incineroar and then Tapu Fini for Sogaleo because the Z moves coming out from that Lunala on any spot. It's coming into that Sogaleo, I would imagine. So let's see what my opponent does. And also, I haven't even mentioned we've got the green screen now. I've moved. I've moved rooms, so I hope aesthetically it looks a lot better and the lighting's good and the sounds all right and stuff like that. I am trying to put a lot more effort into the just production of the videos, um, so they're a lot better for you and more enjoyable as we go through uh, these episodes and just content in general. So we're gonna get the double switch. There's the wide guard coming out. Bust the move, little hit on top, pulling that out of the bag straight away. As we see the Z move activated from this Lunala, it's gonna be into our Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini should take this though, um, and just proc a berry. Hopefully, they haven't went for some reason into Incineroar. I guess they were probably into the Tapu Fini there, and like I say, we should take this. Yeah, and it should proc our berry, which it has done uh, pretty comfortably, actually. Um, and what we can now do is, I think, start setting up with our Zygarde. Um, I'm going to coil, and I'm going to Nature's Madness into the Lunala. Because the him on top isn't threatening us at all right now. It probably wants to switch out this next turn. Uh, you probably want to get the Xerneas onto the field as soon as possible, to be honest. But I really want to get this Power Construct activated. Ooh, helping hand. Helping hand, you say? Lunala, you needed that Z-move. Ooh, Psyshock. Okay, you're going into the type of Finny, going to try and nuke that. Oof. It's just madness coming out. Hmm. Okay, we get the Coil. We need to keep the Finny around for later because it's so important that we do this. Um, I'm going to go 1,000 arrows now. Um, we might see a wide guard come out. Um, and I'm going to switch Tapu Finny to Incineroar. So we've got the Misty Terrain for later on in the game. Because you've got to remember my opponent has that Amoongus. So um, we need to try and keep the Misty Terrain around. So we, we're not affected so heavily by the potential spores that it can throw out and really disrupt us. Wide guard incoming. Okay. That's fine. Moongus Beam. Where are you this time? Into Zygarde? Into Zygarde. Definitely. No, into Incineroar. Hmm. Because I got 1,000 arrows. Okay. Should we call the bluff and say that you're not going to wide guard again? I think that's pretty safe to say. I'm going to 1,000 arrows and I'm going to knock off into the Lunala. I think the top switch is out here. Oh, Lunala switches out. Hopefully we don't see a wide guard. Oh, this is perfect. perfect. Because we can knock off that. <laughs> yeah, we can just knock off. And the wide guard, I mean, I do not mind that at all. Get rid of the, uh, the power herb here. And it's a good time to bring Sogaleo back into this scene, to be honest. Yep, bye-bye, power hub. It's always dangerous doing that. Um, I'm just going to protect Zygarde this turn and bring in Sogaleo now. As long as that Lunala's staying away, then we can, uh, we've got a free time bringing it in. And one of the things that we need to like, keep in mind is that we probably need Incineroar to deal with that, that Lunala late game. So just keep in mind that it's still in, lurking in the back. Um, so we don't want to just let Incineroar take, say, uh, a close combat here from the Hitmontop. Even though it was minus two, it's still going to take unnecessary damage. 
Ooh, no wide guard here. We're going to see a helping hand from the Xerneas. It's going to be a Moonblast into the Zygarde, I think, this turn. And uh, yeah, there we are. Oh, no. It's into Sogaleo. Huh. Leaving us alone, are you? Hmm. That's strange. The Misty Terrain does disappear now. Um, hmm. A thousand arrows. Then we'll go for the Sunsteel Strike into the Xerneas. And that should it should take it down from this range, I'd imagine. Depending on its build, of course. But it's gotta feel threatened. Now. We're not worried about doing damage to this Zygarde at all. Having that Moonblast probably does take us down. Now Xerneas just protecting here. Where's the hit on top gonna go? Is it gonna go close combat into Sogaleo? We do some nice damage there to it though, don't we? What's that? A jack button, excellent. So we don't take any damage this turn, which is ideal. And Lunala gonna hit the field once again. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's just protect. Bring in Incineroar. Because without the, the help and hand support, the, the Xerneas doesn't have as good a chance to take down the Zygarde, even though we've got the plus one there. So we get Incineroar in. There's a Protect, just to get around this potential Moonblast. Yeah. And I don't think my opponent goes for the Geomancy right now. There's a lot of pressure on it. Oh, doubling in on that slot, which makes a lot of sense. Um, mm, let's go Thousand Arrows. I feel like the Xerneas protects here. I'm going to just knock off Thousand Arrows to the Lunala. Okay, that's really good. Hit on top, going to come back in, I think. Yeah, get that Intimidate off. I wonder if the Xerneas does protect. Probably does, yeah. Makes sense to we'll be able to get rid of the hip on top now. Thousand arrows, and then even though knockoff's not gonna be doing too much damage, it should be enough to pick up the knockout onto it, I would imagine. So yeah, yeah. Doing enough. Taking away that option of fake out support as well. Ooh, actually not quite enough. Not quite. Um we have to be a bit careful around the potential helping hand here, of course. Um and also the close combat as well. Uh, what will we do? What will we do? Uh, Sogaleo can come back in. 100% Sogaleo can come back in. What am I talking about? There's no need to worry too much. We'll see a fake out, I'd imagine. Feint could be bad for us. Moonblast. Just not worried about this Zygarde at all. It's weird. Close combat. Yeah. Okay, to the Sogaleo. This makes it really difficult for us to actually deal with the... Um... Okay, um, I'm going to Thousand Arrows. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to Extremes. I mean, what are we on? Plus what? Oh, no, we've got no plus attack. Hmm... <sighs> I'm really scared of the helping hand Moonblast, but if I mean if that comes out, we get rid of the Xerneas. So I'm gonna thousand arrows. If they go for the helping hand Moonblast, then Zygarde goes down. Okay, we're not gonna see that. Tapu Koko hit the field. Okay. As Xerneas attacks here, I mean we get good damage onto it with a thousand arrows, which is always very nice. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go for the Moonblast into Sogaleo. Gotta be yeah. We'll pick up the knockout. My opponent played it well to get around and get rid of the, the, the Sogaleo, kind of just constantly ignoring his eye guard though. Um, which I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, we don't take down the Tapu Koko, but um, we are now able to get our Tapu Fini back in, overwrite this electric terrain. Um, and just get another thousand hours onto this Xerneas. One of the things we could potentially do is... Um, Swagger, potentially Swagger. 
thousand arrows and swagger. Zygod. It's going for the vault switch. Okay. We just need this thousand arrows because if the Kim on top comes in now, it goes down. It gets an intimidate off. Oh, it's Lunala. We take this. Maybe. Hmm, I don't think we take this down. Moonblast. We're not gonna. We're like. This probably activate our power constructor. Jeez, that does so much damage. Does so much damage, doesn't it? It's crazy strong. I don't know if a <laughs> an extreme speed is going to be enough to pick up the knockout onto Xerneas though. But we will get Incineroar in. I feel like we need to probably coil. Hmm. We definitely need to fake out the Xerneas. Oh, do we just do we just thousand arrows? I think probably that, and just fake out the Xerneas. I can see the Lunala staying in and protecting. Yeah, and gives the hit on top of free switch in. Psy shock. Okay, this won't be doing that much. So that's I think the wrong choice there. Because we will be able to pick up the knockout onto the, the Lunala now. Coco's in extreme speed range. Hit on top's in extreme speed range. The Xerneas, if we can get. Okay. The Flare Blitz onto it. We'll be able to pick up the knockout. The thing is, though, we need, we need Zygod around to deal with. Hmm. The hit on top. Maybe we take it. Maybe we do. Maybe. Let's go extreme speed into Coco and Flare Blitz into the Xerneas. I think we missed the knockout on Xerneas, to be honest. Okay, that's even better. Because we get the Coco now. Unless it protects. Unless it protects here. But we definitely get the Coco. And we definitely get the hit on top. And then we definitely win. And claim another victory for this team. Coco does protect. That's fine, because we get it the next turn, and there's no way the Xerneas takes down uh, Incineroar from this range. And the only thing my opponent could potentially do is double protect the core core. But getting that knockoff onto the Xerneas earlier really has kind of made all the difference. But my opponent did so well getting rid I mean getting rid of the Sogaleo was the, the kind of their main their main thing to do. And once that was gone, um it really opened the game up for them to utilize the Xerneas. But because we got that knockoff earlier on, it made it a lot easier for us to kind of maneuver around. Extreme speed onto Coco, not going for that double protect, does pick up the knockout here. Um you probably go for the knockout into the, the Zygarde. Yeah, which it will pick up. Zygarde putting in so much work here for us, though. So we cannot we cannot be sad that it's taken down. I mean, I'm sad that it's gone. But, I mean, Sinnoh are going to be able to claim the victory here with a Flare Blitz. It is more than enough to pick up the knockout. And good game to David. And uh, a really good game for us to finish off with today, guys. So, that is it. It's been a really good one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on today's games. How the team's performing so well. And what your ideas are around that, that Venusaur. If we do switch it up for something else. And what your thoughts would be around that. And uh, we'll just end it up there, guys. So, have a absolutely amazing rest of your day. Whatever time of day it is. If it's the evening, have a great evening. Afternoon, have a great afternoon and evening. And if it's the morning, have a great day. And whatever you're up to, just make sure you join yourselves, taking care of yourselves. And I'll see you for the next episode of AVGC 2019 Battle Series. So until then, take care and bye-bye.